What's up guys, it's Risky here. Welcome back to another episode of The Hunter Call of the Wild. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top three favorite rifles for hunting axis deer. Over the last day or so, I've ran around in Parque Fernando hunting axis deer with a couple different rifles, and that consists of the 243, the 3030, the Hudzik 50 cal muzzle loader, the 45 pellet gun, and the 7.62 Mosin Nagant. And out of all those weapons, I have chose three of my favorites, and I'm going to be explaining what those are in this video and explaining why I chose those three and the reasons I didn't choose the other ones that I left out. If you do go in and find this video useful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, it helps me out a bunch, and let's get straight into it. Alright, so like I stated, I have three rifles that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, and I'm going to be rating those three, two, and one. So now we're starting off with number three. This is the muzzle loader. The benefits of the muzzle loader are is that it does pack a really good punch. This thing is super powerful. It's just the only reason I really rated it as number three is because I found more negatives out of this gun than I did positives. And those negatives are that it does have a pretty low range. I'm pretty sure you can only range this thing up to, I believe, 100 meters. I think it goes 25, 75, and 100, something like that. It's very, very low range gun for ranging anyways. If you do... You know, you know how to use the scope properly. Yes, you can get probably a good 150 meters out of it. But in most cases, this gun at farther ranges does definitely lose a lot of that power at range. So sticking within about 100 and 125 meters is ideal for the muzzle loader. It does have a good bit of penetration and damage, so that's definitely the plus. And another downside of it is that it is only a single shot, so you're not really going to be able to take out a bunch of axis steer in one go. Most of the time. When I'm hunting them, I find them in big herds, and there's normally a few bucks with them, and I would like to get all three or four of those bucks, however many is there, but with the muzzleloader, you're only stuck with one shot, then you have a super long reload time to go through. It is a very fun gun to hunt them with, but definitely not the most ideal. So that is why I have the muzzleloader listed as number three on the list. For number two on my list, I do have the 243. I actually really do enjoy using this rifle, and this is actually the same rifle that I used to kill my Diamond Legacy Rack Axis Steer, so it definitely does do the job for Axis Steer. It's very, I think it's the perfect perfect gun for Axis Steer overall, honestly. It's really good. The, the really good sides about it is that you do get it for free with the game, so everybody has it. It's not like you have to spend a crazy amount of money to get it. The ammunition, at least the soft points, are free, so you can buy hundreds of them and you'll never run out and you'll never have to spend money on ammunition for this gun when i'm using it i typically do use the polymer tips just to get a little bit more penetration i definitely do recommend using the polymer tips if you can because it will help you get more penetration at longer ranges and be able to hit that double lung but the reason i did rate this at number two instead of number one is because it is slightly underpowered versus the Mosin, which is going to be the number one rifle. We'll get into that next. It's slightly underpowered at most ranges. If you start stretching this thing out about 300 meters or more, you're really going to notice that drop off for damage. You're not really going to be able to clip that double lung very easily, and it doesn't bring them down super fast at those long distances. This gun, I recommend you, if you're going to use this, stick with 100 meters to about 250 meters and you'll be set another good thing about it though is that it is bolt action and i believe you have about five or six rounds capacity with this thing so you will have plenty of ammunition in there to be able to take follow-up shots and kill more than just one axis deer at a time without having to go through a super long reload animation like the muzzle loader and for number one as i already told you it is the mosin that takes the 7.62 ammo this thing is an absolute beast. I know in my most recent video, I actually said that it feels slightly underpowered. I don't know what the heck I was talking about. I used it much more today, a little bit before recording this video, and that thing is amazing for these axis deer. It's always been a beast. As soon as it came out, everyone just fell in love with that rifle, and that's the only thing that people used really for the longest time for the whitetail, kudus, warhogs, everything, because it's such a versatile weapon. So much penetration out of that 7.62, so much range and it's a Mosin. It's really, really cool. Like, who doesn't want to use a Mosin, right? Like, that's badass. And again, I believe it has a five or six, I think it's five round capacity in there. So you have plenty of rounds to take down more than just one Axis deer at a time or whatever you're hunting it with. But in this case, we're talking about Axis deer. The one downside of it, though, is that you do need weapon pack two i believe they're only like three or four dollars i definitely recommend it though if you don't have weapon pack two make sure you go get it i believe it consists of 
the 22 pistol, the Mosin, and I think the 30 out six. I could be wrong though, but I definitely know that Weapon Back 2 has the Mosin in there, so make sure you go pick that up if you haven't already. Mosin is amazing. The other rifles that I did test out that I didn't really enjoy hunting with that much was the 3030 lever action and the 45 pellet gun. The 45 pellet gun is just really restricted at range. It's super, super slow, like the rounds just travel super slowly. So if they are on the run, you're not really going to be able to hit them very efficiently. You're most likely going to miss. And the 3030 is just really, really limited on range. So that is why I did not choose that one. So in the number one spot, we have the Mosin. Number two is the 243. And the number three is the 50 cal muzzle loader with the round balls. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.